kwa wakenya ambao nakutazama sasa hivi uh, kuna mahali ni tulikuwa live ukasema kwa you will take action wewe kama je uh, kama uh, pita kama bibi serikali hawataamua kufanya vile mnataka utachukua uh, hatua what are you going to do na uh, uh, unaniuliza kwa kifupi unaniuliza je ikiwa hii haki mnatafuta itafanyika itafanyika nini Nataka kusema kwamba hii ili jambo Jeff mwenyewe sikwahi kumuona akiwa hai sijawahi kumfahamu mm -hmm. lakini kwa sababu ya ile uchungu ambayo mzazi wake anapitia na kwa sababu ya ile kifaa ambayo ilimpata ile mauti iliyompata haikuwa ya halali kabisa kwa sababu tuseme tu ukweli kama haijapangwa haijapangwa mwanadamu akikuletea hiyo ni kama haijapangwa kwa mimi niko hapa ndani kwa sababu si kwa sababu najua Jeff mimi hata simfahamu mamake mwenyewe sijawahi kumuona labda ni muone leo kwa mara ya kwanza lakini nimesema nitazidi kupigania haki ya Jeff baka ipatikane ni kwa sababu ni mkenya mwenzangu na zaidi ya kuwa mkenya ni mwanarika ambaye alikuwa mshupavu na alikuwa ameanza tu ku tuseme ameanza kuna wili kwa maisha na hivyo mtu akaukatiza uhai wake kwa hivyo jambo la kwanza kufanya mimi ku, kuingia katika hii kesi ni kwamba nataka haki ya Jeff Mwadhi okay, na uh, pita tumekuwa na mazungumzo na uh, mkubwa wa DCI na amesema kwamba uh, ike uh, mwili wa Jeff maybe itachukua muda uh, kupata matokeo na nyinyi wale ambao mmekuwa mkisimamia labda pro protest and also you hear also maybe for justice uh, for Jeff uh, mko mnakubaliana na matokeo ambayo uh, DCA anasema kuwa itachukua muda Nataka kuambia wa Kenya kwamba kila siku na semanga it's a new step that we are beginning with and we are working with it uh, kuwapatia muda sio tatizo tatizo ni muda kiasi gani kwa sababu tunaweza wapatia muda wakisema tunachukua muda wanachukua kuanzia mwaka moja hadi miaka mia mo, elfu moja tunasema tu kwamba uharakishwe na kama huharakishi uharakishwe zaidi kwa sababu hatuwezi kungoja sana wakenya wamechoka na uongo za polisi wakenya wamechoka na uongo za kusikizwa na, na tunajua kwamba hii kesi hii kesi wanataka kuifanya kwe ngumu kwamba haiwezekani lakini kitu moja ambayo wametuchelewesha wamechelewesha majibu ya Kenya kwamba je ni nani alikuwa uh, anahusika swali saa hii si muda swali ni ni nani na je haki itatendeka lini kwa hivyo mambo ya muda ya kutuambia tungoje muda fulani sisi tunawapatia muda mfupi sana ikiwezekana siku tatu ama siku nne kwa sababu ni nini hiyo ni kitu gani kifaa gani ambaye hawana ambacho inahitajika je ni mwili ambaye hawana mwili upo ni wako na wataalamu wapo wako na muda wote wapo pia na wanalipwa pia kwa hivyo wanafaa kufanya kazi kwa haraka na pia hataki tu kazi ya kufanyika tu kwa haraka kwa sababu wataka watudanganye nataka kazi ya uhakika pia. Okay. Na kwenye kesi nyingine zikifanyika kama kwa mfano ya mauaji wizi kuna washukiwa ambao huwa wanakamatwa. Na hiyo ni kitu hicho ni kitu ambacho kimepelekea watu wengi kuzungumza na kusema ni kwa nini washukiwa wa kesi hii bado hawajakamatwa. We una epi ya kusema kuhusu hilo? Nitazidi kurejelea kusema kwamba hapa Kenya uh, fedha uzungumza mno. Hapa Kenya kuna kitu inaitwa Godfather. Lakini e, tukiondoa ile father tunabaki na God. Uh, tunasema kwamba uh, Je, Jeff Mwadhi ni kijana ambaye hajafariki. Ndio mwili wake umelala lakini nafsi yake iko hai na inaendelea kuzunguka kuzu, kuzu, huku ikitafuta haki. Kwa nini nasema hivyo? Kwa sababu wakiangalia hapa wa Kenya ambao wamejitokeza na kiasi kikubwa ambacho hii hii jambo linaendelea kupita katika mitandao ya kijamii na hata kwa kila mkenya ambaye anaisikiza, utajua kwamba Mungu ni mkubwa. Na kitu kingine nataka kuambia kwamba kwa nini hajashikwa? Ni kwa sababu kuna watu ambao wanahusika naye ambaye e, pengine ni wanasiasa wao ambaye wanajulikana pengine ni fedha inazungumza lakini hapa sisi tumeamua uh, tumesema um, I always say that money is something but money is not everything for now we are working with the truth and the truth is what we want so uh, about saying about about saying mambo ya, ya kwa nini hajashikwa tunajua vizuri kwamba hajashikwa kwa sababu ya watu fulani ambao wanaweza kukava na watu wa kwanza walianza kukava hii kitu na tusidanganyane ni polisi ambao walienda wali record statement yenyewe ya kwanza the first hand data are the people who messed up this case but it is good that god has uncovered everything and we are going to work with it so regardless of whoever is covering up him up or them or the suspects they are going to be uncovered by God and this one is uncouth behavior I can just call it out and say me I shout big that it is just not fair so okay. lazima ifanyike ah yeah. Peter mm. we are waiting for the result now maybe uh dilemma to come about when expect a more Kenya one expect 
zikija zisikuwe vile venye mna expect itakuwa vipi and also uh, maybe tu kwa wakenya ambao wanakutazama sasa hivi uh, kuna mahali ni tulikuwa live ukasema kwa you will take action wewe kama je uh, kama uh, pita kama bibi serikali hawataamua kufanya vile mnataka utachukua uh, hatua what are you going to do nam uh, uh, unaniuliza kwa kifupi unaniuliza je ikiwa hii haki mnatafuta itafanyika itafanyika nini tutafanya mfano tutachukua one of the suspect that we suspect na ourselves tumpandishe kwa gorofa tufanye mfano na yeye tumteremshe chini pia tuone aki, akifika chini kama atapata haki yake pia itakuwa hivyo kwa hivyo in short tumesema haki isipofanywa na serikali mikono yetu haijavunjwa tutafanya haki kwa mikono yetu okay. na pengine e, ningependa kufahamu kitu e, Peter Kioe kuna swali ambalo ameuliza matokeo ambayo nyinyi mnatarajia ni yepi na isipokuwa hivyo yani kwanza tujue ambayo mnatarajia ni yepi matokeo kwa sababu wanaweza wakakuja wakasema kwamba tumeangalia uchunguzi tumepata kwamba Jeff hakuuawa tumepata kwamba Jeff alijirusha na uh, 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 matokeo ambayo tunasubiri haiwezi kukinzana na, ma, na maelezo ya DCI kwa ripoti ya pili. Ripoti ya kwanza iliashiria kwamba uh, kijana Jeff ali, alikuwa ameweza kujitoa uhai. Ripoti ya pili ikakuja ikasemekana kwamba Jeff aliweza kuuawa na hakujitoa uhai. Sisi hapo ndio tumebaki kwamba hakujitoa uhai. Na kwa sasa hivi tunataka tu kujua je ni kwanza ipi ni vipi ni nini kilitendeka mpaka wakati akapata kufariki. Sasa hizi tutaj tegemei kuambiwa kwamba alijitoa uhai. Sasa tunategemea kuambiwa ni nini kilifanyika, ni mambo yapi yalitendeka. Je, tuna ni nini ilifanyika, ni nani alitenda na ni vipi? Hivyo ndio tunataka kusikia. Mambo ya kutuambia wao alijitoa uhai, hiyo wanabaki nayo wenyewe. Okay. Unahisi kwamba wale ambao ni washukiwa, pengine wamelipana ndio kesi ipelekwe pole pole ama vitu kama hivyo? Naam, uh, Siwezi kudhibitisha hayo kwa sasa lakini naweza kukuambia kwamba kwa, kwa hisia zangu nina, nina hisia kwamba uh, wale wanaweza kuhusishwa kari, kwa, kari, kwa karibu sana na kesi hii ni wale ambao wanaweza kusema naweza kusema kwamba wako na fedha na wameweza kulipa na nita, nitasema tu kama kama hakukuwa na malipo hata siku ya kwanza ya kuchukua mwili hawaingeweza kujikokota shughuli mzima ingeweza kujikokota hata sasa hivi wangekuwa ndani kwa sababu hata juzi kuna ule mwingine ali, alipatikana mshukio kwamba aliweza ku, uh, kuhusika na mauaji ya Elizabeth. Yuko ndani sasa hivi? Hata mimi sasa hivi nikipatikana kwamba niko na shida fulani, nitaweza kuwekwa ndani. Juzi nimeweza kufungiwa katika police station ya Central mchana mzima. Na ni barua tu nimeendea ya kutafuta pami ya, ya notification tu nimepeleka kwamba tunafanya maandamano. Niliweza kuzuiwa kwa, kwa, kwa kipindi cha masaa 12 kwa, kwa kituo cha polisi. Je, huyu ni nini inamfanya anaua na hawezi kuingizwa ama ni nani huyo mwenye anakuwa juu ya sheria? Okay. Na no. mara mingi shughuli kama hii kifanyika mostly watu wa media wa, wanawekwa karibu sana ili kupeana ripoti ambayo inafaa siku ya leo tumeona media wamekaziwa sana wa mambo wa wasonge mbali labda what can you say about that uh, what i can say about the media and uh, the media try to, uh, sometimes media act maybe they act too much but they act to make us feel free na watupatie uh, enough report but uh, uh, sasa hii unaona hii case inahusisha uh, kitengo cha usalama na kwamba ni kitu ambacho it is a pub, in a public domain na inahitaji uhalisia sana katika kufanya kila kitu kwa hivyo nadhani wali waliweza tu kuzuia kidogo ili waweze kufanya kila kitu kwa njia inayofaa na na ili hawakuwa na hawakuwa na lengo la kuweza kuharasa okay. that is what i think okay. kwenye shughuli ya maandamano mmekuwa mkiandamana kwa muda sana na nataka nifahamu eh, ni kitu ambacho kitakuwa kinaendelea mpaka justice ipatikane ama eh, baada ya exhumation leo itakuwa imeisha Nataka kusema kwamba nashukuru kwanza kwa mbunge wa hapa hapa mahali tupo likia eneo la likia kwamba tutakuwa na yeye kwa maandamano siku ya Ijumaa. Nataka kushukuru kila mmoja amekuwa akijitokeza. Nasema kwamba leo ndi imeanza upya. Tunaendelea kila Friday tuko maandamano mpaka haki ipatikane na hakuna taka yetu zima. Okay. Pengine ungepata fursa ya kuzungumza na washukiwa wenyewe na Fatso ungewaambia nini sasa hivi? I don't negotiate with the terrorist and I don't, I don't negotiate with the suspects. Mm -hmm. I've been ever I, I've always been uh, sometimes I've been found in the wrong side of the law and there are no there is no negotiation. And this is a murder case and it's a brutal killing. There is no negotiation. Nikiweza kuletewa hata sasa hivi hapa na nipoe panga. 
nafia kwa kichwa aha peter you've said that you don't know jeff una mfaitia because wewe ni mzazi and you know the feeling uh, ya na mkenya and um, watu wanasema ukiangalia kwenye comment section kuna watu ambao wanasema kuwa are you uh, uoni kama uneka maisha yako hatarini na pia kuna watu ambao pia wanakuthreaten kuwa usipoachana na hii shughuli watakumaliza na mimi naweza kukuambia kwamba nimeweza kupokea vitisho na naweza kusema kwamba sometimes hata vitisho inaweza kuwa si kutoka kwa DJ Fatso ama wenzake inaweza kuwa ni mkenya mwingine mwenye yako tu na mambo na e, kinyume na mimi nataka kusema kwamba wale wananitishia wanachelewa zaidi wangeweza kufanya kitu wanataka mapema ndio best mimi nasema siogopi sitishiki na siwezi ku hata siku moja siwezi kurudi nyuma na kitu kingine nataka kuambia wa Kenya ni kwamba wasiweze kuandika uvumi tu kwa mitandao mimi mimi siku husika katika kuchangisha na kusema jina ya Jeff wale ambao wameweza kutoa fedha zao kwa mfuko ni kufadhili maandamano na zinaonekana mnaona kwamba kuna mabango kuna watu wamevaa t-shirt kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanakuja wengine wanataka maji na pesa zote ambazo tumeweza kuchangisha kwa sasa tumechangisha jana kufikia jana tumechangisha laki tatu na elfu hamsini na bado kuna pesa ziko ugaibuni shilingi laki tano kwa hivyo itakuwa takriban ya shilingi laki nane na hizo fedha zote zinaingia kwa mama Jeff direct na hakuna mmoja wetu atahusishwa katika hata kugawa shilingi moja na ikipatikana basi tu cut off the person from our media tuseme kwamba mimi niko straight I have, I have also my faults kuna mashida zangu kiviangu maybe niko na kasoro zangu kwa watu wengine lakini mimi katika hii kesi hakuna mtu analipwa wala hakuna popote tunahusika katika mambo ya familia ndani Aha, tujua Jeff sasa hii uh, pita watu sasa hivi wanangoja kusikia matokeo and uh, kuna watu wengi sana wanakuamini right now wana wanasema tunangoja kusikia from Peter yeah. what can you tell them uh, what should they now expect uh, they expect that this is our, our wake up call uh, I, I expect everybody to listen this that we are not going to relent we are not going to give up anybody that is listening to me and they have that passion of a parent of a brother and a sister then they, they have a heart let them know that it, we should not sleep let us wake up and fight for justice it is time that Kenyans we speak for ourselves because the leaders we choose are not speaking for us nataka kushukuru kila mmoja amekuwa akijitokeza nasema kwamba leo ndio imeanza upya tunaendelea kila friday tuko maandamano mpaka haki ipatikane na hakuna taka ituzima okay. Pengine ungepata fursa ya kuzungumza na washukiwa wenyewe na fatso ungewaambia nini sasa hivi I don't negotiate with the terrorist and I don't, I don't negotiate with the suspects I've been ever I, I've always been uh, sometimes I've been found in the wrong side of the law and there are no there is no negotiation and this is a murder case and this is a brutal killing there is no negotiation nikiweza kuletewa hata sasa hivi hapa na nipoe panga nafia kawicho